Welcome back to STL TV Live. I'm Sarah Bernard and I'm here with Mike Cosiella, the organizer of the Budweiser Taste of St. Louis. Welcome yeah. back, Mike. Thanks for having One us. One of our frequent most favorite guests. Oh, wow, right on. Thank us. you so much. And yeah, we're so happy you're I mean, you, I'm actually privileged that you're here because you're in the last two weeks of um, preparation. Yeah, it's we're down. This is the, Today and tomorrow are like the two busiest days. And if we've done our homework, uh, the next two weeks should be pretty light. And, you know, so... Yeah, I left straight from my computer and came here. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Now, you, this is the ninth annual, right? Ninth annual, yeah. Ninth annual. I can't believe it. So take us back. When, nine years <laughs> ago, when you started this. Yeah, like 10 or 10 and a half years ago, um, got a call from Ann Chance at the city, and, and uh, some folks were getting this off the ground. They asked me to get involved, and I did. And um, I, I, It's just, you know, it's, we, we wanted to start it really small and grow it into something big, and and we did, which is crazy. I think so we're. So, what, what was it like nine years ago? I mean, you were telling me off camera you're expecting yeah. almost half a million people this year. Yeah, I, I, that's just, you know, 450, maybe more, you know, 450,000, um, which is insane. It is insane. Um, <laughs> you know, we got lucky our first year. We had a sponsor come in and put a lot of money into our concerts. So, from year one, we had 60,000 people. Plus, we kind of strategically uh, located it right next to Bush Stadium on mm -hmm. the last three home games of the Cardinals. Yeah. So, all those people, you know, dump out of the stadium and came to the event and so right from the get-go you know luckily we had great crowds um, yeah. and then it's grown about 25 percent every year which is just it's, it's on we're nine city blocks now yeah so you're obviously drawing from the entire metro area across the river absolutely yeah um, I'd say 30 percent of our crowds actually from Illinois you know yeah. um, probably 50 from St. Louis and 20 you know 25 percent ish from from all around the region and, and we do get people flying in for it so it's become a big tourist attraction for the city yeah so has over the nine years has weather ever been impacted the event we don't talk about weather <laughs> <laughs> next question please oh sorry i'm just curious because i mean planning a big event like this is you know, stressful yeah you know what do you do i mean you obviously just keep we going. just go for it we know yeah. that you know no matter what it is we're going to have the event regardless yeah. and we've got to go for it everybody's in the same boat all, all, everybody that participates understand understands that you know we might have weather you know we yeah. may may not who knows but you know we've got three days that gives us a good shot yeah. to get the event in um, and and fortunately we've been we've been very blessed with, with some just unbelievably perfect weather yeah. and I imagine the same for this year so well, cross your fingers September for us is, it's usually a beautiful time in St. Louis yeah yeah it's we've generally been in the mid 70s lower 80s and so we're hoping and that's the way it's starting to head this right now with the forecast so you know wish us luck you never yeah. know you never know so give us the lowdown on mm -hmm. the it's the weekend Friday Saturday Sunday the end of yep. this month yep what Friday September 27 28 and 29 mm -hmm. Um, it is at Soldiers Memorial downtown. Uh, we call our official entrance 12th and Market. Okay. Um, our, our theme has always been food, art, music, and culture. So we have 45 of the best restaurants from around the region. Uh, we've got great national act concerts all three nights. We've got Pokey Lafarge playing. We've got the Samples. We've got Buckwheat Zydeco and Robert Randolph and the Family Band. We've got over 40 uh, artists locally and regionally um, that you know have all sorts of mediums that they'll be displaying and selling. Um, and then our coolest, newest attraction is our Beers of the World, which we're doing 26, over 26 beers from around the world. Uh, that we're featuring where you can sample by a little tasting booklet. And so that's so is our, it like a beer garden? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's, it's a tasting ticket, beer garden vibe right next to the concert main stage. And we have 26 beers in there. And you buy a little ticket, um, five samples for 15 bucks. Mm -hmm. And then you can go around and, um, and sample the different beers, however you like. And then throughout the day, each day, we have chefs preparing little taste size bites uh, f that pair well with the beers that we have. So we're doing um, a number of different beer and food pairings, like live cooking demos right there inside this new experience as well. Yeah, wow, that sounds like a lot of fun. So every year you add something new? Yeah, we, we usually kind of get rid of a little something and add something new, and then the mainstays, like our restaurants and concerts, always kind of stay the same. And then last year we added Kid City, which was huge. We had 50,000 kids through our kids' area. Oh my gosh, year. do oh. we have that many kids in St. Louis? I guess we do. Yeah, Hard it was crazy. <laughs> they ran out of gifts on Saturday and had to go buy more, and that's how we know we had 50,000 because yeah. they gave away 50,000 gifts you know they did little premiums and things and this year that's going to be in library park which is the um, park right outside park pacific mm -hmm. and across from the new well not new library but the redone yeah. library downtown yeah perfect all right so there's lots to still talk about don't go sure. away don't you go away mike's got more to say about this year's event so stay tuned for more on stl tv live